right now, just pretty much uh, just playing in the box. Uh, I feel as though you know I'm, I'm more comfortable in the box, but also you know I know and I'm aware of uh, that I have to do other things uh, to show my versatility. And uh, you know, like I said, once you get to this level, it's not just you're not just a one-dimensional player. You have to be able to do this and that. So I'm working on every aspect of my game, uh, mentally and out there physically. So just doing whatever it takes. How hard, right. how hard was the physical adjustment? Uh, it wasn't that much of a difference. Uh, being as though I came from a dream college, there are some pretty physical guys out there. And uh, it's more of a, a college uh, type environment uh, opposed to high school. So it wasn't that much of an adjustment, but you know, just that you can tell that these guys are, are, are trained. Um, and come out and you know compete at a very high level. So you know it wasn't much of an adjustment, but at the same time it was uh, with conditioning and stuff like that. But you know once you just keep going hard, uh, Coach tell us, uh, you just fake it, and eventually you won't know the difference. So that's what I was out here doing, and now I, I don't even know the difference. Is uh is recognizing a play on this level like what the offense is doing? Does that change at all from the junior college? Oh yeah, level? definitely. Uh, uh, in junior college, it was more of a uh, see and go thing. Uh, and out here, you know, everyone has a role on the defense and on the team in, in general. So you have to make sure, you know, you're doing your role because one slip up and that, that's, you know, a big play, uh, exposure play waiting to happen. So you got to make sure you're on top of the game, doing your assignments, knowing your keys, and uh, playing fast and playing hard, playing together. I think that's all I need. Thanks, Joe. No problem. Sure. Gerald, what's it been like uh, learning under T.J. McDonald? Obviously, you got the two veteran safeties, McDonald and Starling, you know, in front of you. What's it been like working with them? Oh, uh, it's been amazing, man. Uh, not just T.J., uh, Drew McAllister, uh, Jawanza, Demetrius Wright, all of us. All of them are out there helping me. Uh, I had a chance to room with T.J. during our camp. So, you know, every night, you know, we were going over things, and, you know, he was out there helping me. T.J. is like a... He's like a coach of his own, you know what I mean? And, and that's how the, the rest of the safeties are as well because, you know, they've been in the system for a while, so they pretty much understand it. Um, but I've been, you know, asking questions, trying to get better, and I know that uh, mentally I have to prepare and get ready, so I, I'll do whatever it is, uh, whether it's, you know, getting extra film or asking questions to some of the older guys that have been in the system uh, to help me better and Dif better the team. Different body type. You're a different body type, that guy like TJ. How, how would you describe yourself as a safety? Are the guys that you looked up to, you know, coming up? Or um, how would you describe yourself in your game? How would I describe myself? Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how I would describe myself, but I do look up to uh, Troy Palomalu, uh, the Ed Reeds, uh, Sean Taylor, so somewhere in that area. But you know, I know nowhere near close to those guys. But that's that's the guys that I look up to, and I and I watch film and study uh, their game because uh, they were they were great players. Yeah, we we always talk to TJ because of his dad about the incredible safety tradition here at SC. Obviously, you named Palomalu, and then there's TJ, and then there's his dad, and then obviously Ronnie Lott, who's yeah. you know maybe the greatest of them all. So, what's it like trying to get in line, you know, at a university with, with such a proud Man, safety it, tradition? It, it's exciting. It's exciting. You know, uh, every day I have to pinch myself like you know this is really happening I'm out here uh, competing with the best guys and, and the people that have been here before me uh, were the best of the best you know and it's just an honor to come out and you know be able to try to follow their footsteps. One thing you don't get from the junior college experience right is the college experience the kids the kids are back in school me a moving day classes start on Monday you looking forward to, to being a part of the Trojan family outside absolutely. of just football? Absolutely man uh, I'm a student first before anything uh, and that's very important for me so yeah, I'm willing and, and ready you know to come out and do the work and do everything that I need to do to be, become a better student and a student athlete. All right, thanks a lot, Joe.